Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to LCK Summit 2020. I'm Atlas, joined by what did as we get into the final match of week one of summer. It is uh, Sorry One Gaming, formerly, of course, APK Prince. Sorry One Prince now, sorry. It's, it's actually, it's a difficult one to continue yeah. pronouncing for, for someone such as myself. I don't know, it might be the Australian accent, I'm not entirely sure. But they're taking on Dom One, and uh, Dom One looked really good. Uh, some more fun facts uh, on Dom One. Uh, currently on the Korean solo queue ladder, Showmaker is second and third. At the same time. At the same time. His win rates on so many champions are just ridiculous. I mean, he's winning most of the games and... Well, I mean, yeah, that does sort of make sense. And currently in Korea, when you have Showmaker in your team, then you never think about the lose, you know? Like, hey, that's oh, true. You just have all the yeah, confidence. I mean, oh, yeah, we won the game. And like, oof, that boosts up like the confidence, you know? That's actually really cool. You sort of get like the nameplate buff and that gives everybody else confidence as well. So we're going to have a look at the points of the match. We're about to have a blast as both teams love to fight. Who will be the real brawler of this bloody night? Well, that's a beautiful rhyme. Um, after our last series, it feels like every team just wants to fight. Whether that's going to be good or not, not entirely sure. But Dunwon had a 24-minute average game time oh, yeah. against but Sandbox. That's really fast, by the way, because yeah. our match one today was really long. It was. In fact, that whole series was very long. Yeah. Uh, I just cannot wait yeah, uh, I mean, to see not, these two teams yeah. get onto the rift. It's not just the one game. It's the average game time. In, yeah, in the series, in the whole series, so like it's just so crazy that how Diamond Gaming improved compared to Spring Split, and also Sade One, man, like they have hybrid and improved the top side, and also yeah. they got Miki too, and everything is working out, but their match history looks pretty sad. It's, it's a it's real yikes. It yeah. is a big yikes um, up against Dom One, but like you say. A different story now, and to be honest, the mid lane was definitely oh, yeah. a weak point. That is for true. APK Prince, uh, but right now it's Sorry One Prince. Exactly, and now they've got Mickey, the jet setter, the man who started in China, came back to Korea, went to NA, came back to Korea, and then went to Europe, and then came back to Korea. The guy's all over the place. Let's see what they have to say. <laughs> 제가 룸브라고 너구리 선수가 라이즈 했을 때 백도 당해서 저희가 졌거든요. 너구리 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 넥서스. 아, 이건 안 되겠어. 이건 안 되겠어. 안 되겠어. 안 되겠어. 안 되겠어. 넥서스. 아니. 와. 너구리. 네, 사실 다 잡은 게임이라고 생각했는데 넥서스 터지는 걸 보고 있는데 너무 마음이 아프더라고. APK 같은 경우에는 이제 전투를 좀 굉장히 좋아하고 저희 팀도 전투를 좋아하는 편이기 때문에 APK 전이랑 할 때는 좀 화끈하게 계속 싸우고 싶어요 그냥 고 파이트 <웃음> 담원이랑 경기할 때 헌터를 진짜 많이 했다고 생각하거든요 그래서 이번에도 그런 느낌으로 경기를 할것 같아요 되게 흥미진진하고 재밌는 경기 될것 같아서 기대 많이 해주시면 좋을 것 같아요 아몬의 핵심 라인 탑이랑 미드? 제가 원래 너구리 선수를 만난 것도 이번 스프링이 처음이었단 말이에요. 다른 탑 라이너들은 그냥 주먹으로 때린다. 약간 이런 느낌이면 너구리 선수는 진짜 찢어서 거기에 꽂는다 이런 느낌이거든요, 창으로. 저희 상체는 정말 무지막지한 괴물들이 살고 있기 때문에 상대하는 팀들이 무서울 거예요. 괴물이요? 저희 상체는 망키맨이랑 두 사이가 살고 있어요. 아, 원래 그 영화 같은 데에서도 괴물은 사람이 잡거든요. <웃음> 사실은 어느 미드랑 해도 질것 같다는 생각이 안 들어가지고요. 솔로 랭크에서 되게 잘하시는 것 같고 되게 재능이 넘치신 분 같아요. 이키 선수가 되게 공격적인 이미지가 있는데 저도 더 공격적으로 나가서 공격으로 부셔버리겠습니다. 이키 선수 더 열심히 하셔야겠어요. 아, 열심히 해야죠. 네, 쇼메이크 선수 패기가 되게 보기 좋네요. 절 보는 것 같아요. 그 패기 진짜 망가뜨려주고 싶네요. <웃음> 연비좌도 있고 가자미좌도 있어서 저희 바텀 진짜 지기 힘든 구조거든요. 한타 때마다 뭔가 공격적인 모습이나 이런 거에서 좀잘 대처를 해야겠다. 라는 생각이 드네요. 음, 근데 바텀 싸움은 별로 의미가 없을 것 같은 게 저희가 위에서 이기고 아래로 파도를 흘려보낼 거기 때문에 저희는 반대로 하체 힘으로 상체 힘을 막으면 될것 같아요. 서레원 바텀이 엄청난 이제 공격성을 가지고 있는데 무모한 공격성이 있다고 생각하거든요. 경험이 많지 않아서 그렇게 공격적일 수 있는 것 같은데 제가 눌러드리겠습니다. 
제가 스프링 때 담원 그 2라운드 그때 지고 나서 실력이 많이 늘었거든요. 바뀐 제 모습 기대해 주시면 좋을 것 같아요. 펜타킬 4번 해보고 싶네요. 혈연은 개인적인 생각으로는 이길 것 같다는 생각이 들고요. 저희가 실수하지 않고 하면 은 2대 0으로 승리할 수 있을 것 같아요. 상위권 팀을 이긴다는 것 자체가 되게 저한테 의미가 클것 같아서 깔끔하게 이기고 싶어요. 연비자라는 별명에 맞게 계속 좋은 모습 보여드리도록 하겠습니다. 아, uh, yes, hybrid, the mileage god. Well, we'll see whether he's going to have enough to deal with uh, the solo queue god that is Showmaker. He is certainly a force to be reckoned with at the moment. This is, of course, your Sole One Prince lineup. Secret, hybrid, Mickey, Flawless, and Ixu. As uh, Mickey makes his way back in, he had some interesting things to say, yeah. saying that uh, his mechanics aren't so good, but he wants to teach his team the macro. Oh, yeah. And also more explosive playstyle as well. Yeah. Like, they're, they're more like, uh, I don't know, like, their aggressiveness is just way too much. So I cannot <laughs> even handle it, you know? But now they're up against Damwon, who suffered from the same situation. I think, like, Mickey being known for his dice, yep. well, he's up against the King Gambler in Nogari, the guy that just loves rolling those things. <laughs> that is true. And also, Showmaker, as you mentioned, it, his performance right now is unpredictable, you know, yeah, in yeah, a good yeah. way. So I think Showmaker has uh, kind of really, uh, I think he can lead the mid, mid game. Uh, and as you see, like, perfect KDA, by the way. Yeah, this dude is um, out of control. And he currently sitting at first as far as damage per minute. This is one series sample size. But you can see Mickey actually doing 30% of his team's damage as well. You uh, you saw Lava actually struggled a lot, oh, yeah. uh, to be honest, was subbed out in their next series. Um, so you could under understand that maybe uh, Hama Life weren't necessarily the, the best of opposition. Um, but Showmaker's casted and looked absolutely terrifying. His Zoe has always been really good, so we barely even need to talk about that. But this guy has been absolutely killing it. You mentioned it to me before, you know, like the, the Showmaker buff. Oh, yeah? You're in solo queue, you just see that he's on your team in your lobby, and you're like, well, settle in. It's going to be an easy win, gentlemen. Yeah, and also, like, then imagine if you are a Diamond Gaming player, then you yeah. have Showmaker all the time. Yeah. That's a good thing. You, you get that buff forever. Yeah. And currently, he's sitting at third and uh, and second. I think Nogger is sitting at like 250, like oh, as far yeah. as rank in solo queue. But uh, Canyon is 12th. He's uh, also doing fantastically well. He was always a really good solo queue player. And uh, there's a lot of junglers in uh, the LCK that have been successful. But solo queue certainly is something that we need to talk about when it comes to Damwon because it's their practice that's really good. These guys were the scrim guards. And they need to show us some consistency on the stage. So now, up against Possibly some uh, more difficult opposition here, uh, as opposed to Sandbox, who they crushed in uh, mere seconds. 24 minute average game time. Yep. Um, this will be a, a more tough opponent. So is Damon gonna let uh, the mileage god Aphelios? That is my question. Even though the last series, Ezreal looked good, it didn't work out at the last game and they lost the series at the end. And so, mm, but there's also, is Ghost's Ezreal the same as Aiming's Ezreal? Oh yeah, that is true. I don't think so. I think so. So yeah, the AD carry, uh, AD carry traits is gonna be really interesting. And there is Varus and Ezreal, uh, Ezreal is gone. It's gonna be Varus, Ezreal and Aphelios, I reckon, yeah. on uh, Dom one side. They just may as well shut down Hybrid because they believe that their solo lane is gonna win, right? That is true. We'll see whether that is the path that they're going to take. Syndra to be banned on blue side. And Darmon just looking for that 200 years. And they will take that one away most likely. Syndra, the final ban. So we just don't like S words. Yeah. It's uh, Set, Center, and Syndra. And uh, Varus, Ezreal, and Aphelios. Five seconds time. No, oh. it's going to be the Karma. So Aphelios sneaks through. As a... Uh, Karma being banned is interesting because uh, Solo One Prince, they really liked playing the uh, the Lulu lane with the Aphelios. That was what they played all three games, in fact. Yeah. I mean, there is also Trundle and there is so many picks still that you can have, but especially when you have Mileage Guard in the game. Yeah. 
you should pick Aphelios first for him. Especially when the the OP AD carries are gone, like Azrael and Varus, and maybe you can say Kalisa is there, but I Ghost don't think Kalisa is the Kalista is... player. Yeah, but I'm not sure if Kalisa is a good card against Aphelius. By the way, that Fonteon can be support as well. Beryl got two POGs because of Fonteon support. And yeah, that Pantheon is definitely going with Callista. Yeah. That's happening. It's going to be Callista Pantheon. And I don't know whether the mileage is going to be enough to deal with the giant spear going into his head. This is going to be really dangerous. Flawless wow. going back to an old favorite in the Elise. We are sinning. Look, man, this is what we were expecting. This is... Like another level of LPL style. Maybe it's more than LPL. <laughs> this is like LPL 2015 style. Yeah. Though. It's not the style that you actually want to emulate as uh, Zed is being hovered. It's like so explosive. I would be surprised if Zed locks in here because it's Mickey, you know? I mean, it is. He's always random, but yeah. Maybe not random anymore in LCK, you know? Well, Thresh is going to be taken, so Secret going to take up a different idea when it comes to dealing with this bottom lane. A little bit more safety with the Lantern being off it. Mm -hmm. You can cancel the Pantheon's W as well. Yeah. Just need it for the laning phase, and they are assuming that Beryl's going to be playing that one. The Showmaker. Is he just going to lock it in? Oh my god, I wanted him to so bad. The Zoe instead. So the Callista's just going to be banned. I'm actually really surprised that uh, Damwon didn't decide to take that one away, but maybe this means we're going to have a real weird bottom lane. Pantheon support opens up all sorts of craziness. Oh, there is also Talia Pantheon, even though I mean, that combo could... it was not that great in LCK. We don't talk about that anymore. But okay? anyways, there is still Talia Pantheon. And <laughs> that is true. The event there is so many happen. picks that you can have with Pantheon, but I'm not sure what AD carry that you can pick. Because if I'm sorry, one, then I think banning Naguri is kind of a waste of ban because he can play like so many different champions, but on the bot lane, there is only like some picks that is actually good yeah. as AD carry. Especially, yeah, they banned Kalista. Kalista and Draven should be banned here, to be honest. Uh, that would be the next one I wouldn't want Ghost playing. Especially with the early power that they already have in the Pantheon. I feel like Pantheon Draven would be a sick lane. Oh yeah. You just kill them so fast. But Ash is going to be where they go. Far more standard. But Ghost is one of our Draven players. Are they going to counter pick for 80 carry? That no, there's no. Is Fortune being considered? It's normal, but not. Like, it's not even comparable. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's the Jigs. Okay. That's going to be Ghost. So this is definitely a kill lane now. Oh, yeah. I mean, Ziggs was considered as uh, maybe a counter of Aphelios on the bot lane. Yeah. But this was actually something that uh, uh, Dragon X came up with yep. last season. With now, Zarbon. of course, just DRX. But, yeah. <laughs> Which is hovering Zed. Oh, wait. We're locking it. Okay, just... never mind. All right. This is into Zoe, right? It's yeah. a good assassin matchup, theoretically. Yeah. And you can use your shadows to, to skip around the bubbles. But man, all right. And Ixu thinking about hopping on a horse. Yeah, there, there is. I'll, I'll just do it. Oh, wait. I'll just do it. They're they not hovering it for damage. fun, by the way. Yeah, I know. This is an Ixu special. They're not hovering it for fun. They're just going to do. Oh, my. No, I mean, I'm he so is doing Orn for Zed, you know? That's true. That's Many true. random picks can make actually the game really messy, so they just have some like rules, you know? Like, yeah, true. Okay, <laughs> this time around I play Zed, so you play Orn. Maybe next time I play Lulu, so you can play Singed. That's true. Especially okay. Inting Singed. The teammate, the teammate strategy. Yes. I like I like the Inting Singe idea for, for Ixu. What is he good at? He's good at um, not necessarily doing so well. As you can see that uh, Nogri, is just going to lock away the Wukong Whew. through the Orn matchup. Finally, we can wake up from <laughs> LCK. Because last match, obviously, there was not many fights and kind of resident sleeper moments, but... Yeah, or like, if there were fights, 
it was at the wrong times and it made yeah. me sad a little bit. But hopefully this is just going to be all fights all the time. Yeah, morning call for LCK, guys. Hell yeah. Wake up! <laughs> Zed on the mid lane. Zix on the bot lane and Pantheon support as well. Oh, so good. Woo! It is so good. Zix Pantheon is, I, I haven't actually seen it work out, but in my head, it just sounds so oppressive. And then, oh man. And Pantheon support's really good and Beryl's really good at it. So very excited to see how this one's going to go. Whereas on the other side, Mickey's back on the champion that he was known for, yep. for like his entire career, <laughs> which is, is the true. Zed. And also, he has really strong jungle as well. Yeah. Like, Zed at least combo, this is already looking really, really strong and scary, especially against Zoe, which is a mobile champion on mid lane. And you're going to have a lot of pressure as well. I mean, Zoe's clear isn't super fast until she gets a few points into that paddle star. And uh, Zed starts clearing out minion waves very, very quickly. Yes, he's going to be melee versus ranged, and Showmaker is extraordinarily good, especially on the Zoe. But uh, this might be an opportunity for Mickey to get some pressure and start roaming around and killing some people. But uh, these are some exciting drafts. The uh, Deft special being picked up by Ghost here in the Ziggs. I don't know whether we can expect the level of Ziggs play that we saw from Chovy earlier on in the week, but uh, this should definitely be fun. So we get onto the Rift for our first game. Don't worry, guys. We're not going to bed because we got the Zed. <laughs> Finally, we have these kind of games in yeah. LCK. Do you know what makes me really sad with it? Huh? It's that BDD is also a former oh. Zed OTP. True. And uh, in that series, did we even consider that he'd play it? No. No, we didn't. I mean, I think if Sarawon actually wins this game, then all the teams are just re suddenly just... Then Faker plays yeah. Zed? Then we get like... And then Ryu comes back, <laughs> and we get that moment again. And then Blind Pick comes again, <laughs> just randomly. Yeah, exactly. No, we had Blind Pick in the first game at MSC. True. You know, for next year. This is we're all for the preparing. franchising, you know. Yeah. Perfect. I, I feel I feel really bad for you though. Why? Because he's dying, even now. Who? Like Ryu. Oh, I know. Because of the that moment, you know. So in Korea, it's kind of illegal to talk about Zed, but Mickey actually did that. Yeah, it's not good. It's not a. It, it's okay, man. <laughs> He's a good guy, you know? He's yeah. fine with it. <laughs> so Chongo was the last one to play Zed in that For Fun game. Yep. Uh, for Fun on, game? On, uh, it was Jin Air's Way Out. Currently, Mickey is 5-1 and one on the Zed. Um, please tell me when he played it last, guys. Because it was a really long time ago. It might have been when he was playing for Rocks, but it might have even been before that, when he was playing for a Freaker, I believe. As uh, Canyon, he's going to find himself an Itsy Bitsy Spider. Hmm? As far as uh, lore is concerned, I could imagine that uh, Spiders versus Trolls, probably won by the Trolls. As Barrel looking for secret. Ooh. Oh my god, the damage. That was so much damage, by the way, already. Yep, and that's the execute. And probably he could kill it, because they they had no heal on the bot lane, while Pantheon is having Ignite. And they 100% have to take Exhaust as well, because as soon as Pantheon jumps in and there's kill threat, like, you need that. As Canyon comes down, oh, the bubble lands. And Canyon smiting that minion away. I think he might have been doing that to try and let a paddle star through, but... Shoemaker didn't actually have it available. Mickey is going to survive and doesn't have to use the flash, so it's not too bad. Just uh, Canyon making sure he puts on pressure, and he's just everywhere, denying as much from Flawless as he possibly can. And also, Diamond Gaming's ball in is trying to find out Elise and oh my disturb god. it. Oh my god. And that ward is going to survive as well, because the sweep is going to wear off before Flawless goes anywhere near it. So they already spotted at least so many times in the early game, and at least it's all about the early game, by the way. Yeah, and Canyon's gonna double scuttle, triple buff, and Elise as Trundle, by the way. And he's running to the top side again to get his camp. It's because of all because of the mid prior, and obviously before level six, Zed's kill pickup ability is kind of low, so yeah. 
I mean, he needs his first uh, lethality. And there's the flash play. Actually gets two as the hook lands on the barrel. But look at how much damage he's denying. And Fawless is down to 200. He has to repel. As Showmaker comes down, he's got an exhaust. Going to use it immediately onto Hybrid. Picks up a flash. Goes there. He's going to be absolutely fine. That flash play was sick out of secret. But just not enough. That's the power of the Pantheon support. Oh way. man, just disgusting. Actually. He's kind of actually upgrade version. I mean, aggressive version of Braum, I guess. Yeah, I you guess know? so. It's Braum, but throw the spears. It's Braum, but does a, a thousand damage. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds so much right, better. That's a really nice stun. This barrel's going to deny every bit of damage ever. The flash forward from Hybrid looking for oh. the kill and picks up first blood, takes the lantern out. And that's the mileage we were looking for. Maybe Brahm is better. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe Hybrid's just better, guys. Okay. Um, Mickey's trying to pick up the kill here. Yeah, he's going to go on down. He's going to pick up that Ignite. Uh, Mickey's well and truly dead. Uh, so it's a one for one in the end. And the flash forward canyon. Going to jump onto Hybrid. Red buff was ticking there for a moment as the paddle star will find Hybrid. One more auto and he's dead. And the rest of the cleanup will suffice. Teleport comes into the mid lane. I believe that's Ghost who's going to pick up all of that farm. And uh, on top side, Nogari is uh, wailing on Ixu over and over again. I think both teams are going to get happy with those reserves because Zed always want to get some Ollie kills and make the game really messy. And also, it was really great kill pickup by Sir Hammer Prince's spot lane. Yeah, this was really clean. Yeah, I like this insta. Auto into... Yeah, the proc. Uh, in the meantime, though, Nogari is uh, going to go down. Uh, Ballas is going to be able to pick that one up, and uh, Ixu baiting beautifully. You can always trust yeah. that Nogari is going to be overextended. Now has to <laughs> run back up towards top lane. Nogari didn't even use his flash. Ixu did have to use his. As Dalmon I mean, moved towards the bottom side and will take down this mountain drake. I mean, it feels just normal that the Guri just <laughs> yeah. dies yeah, yeah, alone, yeah. you know? No, that's actually what his game plan was. He yeah. to hit the 0-2 power spike earlier. Uh, because Mickey's playing Zed and they want to make sure that they can counter him as quickly as possible. So we need Nogari at full power level. And now he has his cull. He's ready to go. And he's isolated that stats are just increasing oh, super yeah. high. Nogari, like, he never stops, you know? Nope. And I think if you've got a brand, sticking to it makes sense. Yeah. You know? And also, the good thing is, He's still going to carry. He's still be yeah. able to carry the game. That's the good thing about him, you know? I mean, we saw Smeb get solo killed in uh, <laughs> the first game against Gen G earlier tonight and uh, still was able to get those sick flanking plays. I think Wukong is a perfect example of a champion that just has a lot of utility and a lot of value, mm. regardless of how the laning phase goes. But I expect Nogari in an isolated 1v1 is still going to be absolutely fine. Spami Cinder completed by Ixu. Has himself the extra cloth armor as well, so it should be okay for him, especially given uh, that extra kill. But uh, Flawless was the one that picked it up. As, uh, the flash from Ixu does guarantee that Nogari is going down. But I think Diamond Gaming is still really great that they have a uh, really great condition of mid jungle. Because, I mean, especially when you're playing Zoe. Uh, you you want to get all the mid prior, right? So that is kind of positive things for Damon Gaming still. But I think Saruman is going to be still really happy with those reserves, you know? Like after yeah, this got one it. kill and one assist. And Zed is slowly getting pressure back with Elise. So I think if Zed gets one kills more... The hook is going to go down. That's the instant cleanse. Good playback as Hybrid. Doing a lot of damage here. Mega Inferno Bomb comes down, and that is a dead Aphelios, but he does trade one for one once again. Bouncing Bomb flies down. Barrel, sorry, Ghost should be able to deal with this mini wave as Mickey dived onto Showmaker, but he's going to take a little bit of a nap here. <laughs> the thumbs up comes in. Cyclones come down, though, and the Ram is going to be delivered to the Monkey. Oh, it's a lot of damage there. Flash out. A lot of respect given as Ixu did pick up the Ignite. Canyon jumps underneath his turret, though, and will chomp down on the Ram Wrangler. He'll go into the Death Chamber. One back there as Flawless is going to run all the way up, spotted there by Canyon, and Nogger is going to make it out to safety. So everyone is fighting, like, everywhere. Bolt lane, they're just having 2v2 moments all the time, and top lane, yeah. And let's see what happened here again. And it was really great hook by Secret. 
and instant planes, but Ghost was level 6 and Hybrid was not. So that was the difference, but still he made out to trade the kills, so I think Saruman is going to be just be happy with those. Yeah, still suck, though. They're having kills, you know? Un un unless they have kills, yeah. And Zed is actually really happy in a game with lots of money in it, right? Yeah. And uh, so if they just keep doing this, uh -oh. you're exactly right. Look at the header. And yep, Harold going to be taken down. Riff's got the first here as Damon will secure that one. Mickey in position. Haven't seen an ult just yet as Canyon. He's going to get ulted. And it is going to be Rift Herald taken by the Orn of all people. Canyon falls down now. Beryl is in trouble. He's going to be massacred as Nogri. Yeah, nowhere for him to go. And that is two kills for the Zed. It's already a huge disaster. Zed got three kills in the early game. Oh, he got three. Okay, never mind. Oh, my God. He got three kills in the early game. And he got double kill in the in the Herald skirmishes. And they're not, they're not over yet, by the way. Yep, uh, now Shermaker gonna have to try and get himself out of the way here. Ixu taking up the turret for a very long time. Portal jump used pretty nicely, but he was always dead every single time. That's what Elise is used for, and it's all they want. This is exactly what they wanted. And we've been saying it, but it's just beautiful seeing it happen, right? The acceleration of this game. And they knew Damwon's probably gonna play into their hands. Yeah, I actually don't know why they started up the header, because I would definitely take the fight if I have Orn level 6 and Zed level 7, and at least in the jungle especially. And Secret was ready to fight as well, so I think in general, like even though uh, they had the lane prior on the mid jungle, the skirmishes are still really strong on the Sarhae 1 side. You know? Like, look at the damage. <laughs> Flashes to secure the kill. Right there! Like, that's strong nice. Yeah, that was a real nice sir. And also, they got the kills on the top side as well. Like, you know what? When Damon is losing or losing the tempo, they are just falling all together. Oh, no yeah. one stops to inting. That's what I actually love about Damwon, you know, they're all in you love together, it? they're all friends. Okay. They're always going to make that choice. Is Mickey going to try and count on the portal jump, but it's not really working. And uh, Shut down. a few extra autos, Canyon's going to pick that one up pretty comfortably as Flawless gets popped. Beryl does too much damage as a support. He'll get knocked up though and possibly punished. Oh no, but the hook is going to go over to Showmaker. It may not be the right choice though as Nogari comes in with the Cyclone multi knockups. As Secret's gonna have to go gold and the bubble's going to miss, but Beryl still will pick that one up and the Moonlight Vigil just goes into nothing. Paddlestar, not quite enough range there. Showmaker has picked up a counterfeit smite. Sorry, a flash. And Darmon find themselves back in the lead. As you mentioned it, like they always play together even though like they were yeah. losing, you know? Yep. So that's why they could win this skirmishes, you know, even though Zed got three kills, they never stops and just go to the mid lane and try to gank Zed and Finally, they got the shutdown, and after that, also, Seren Prince has the same problem. They stop. Uh, they cannot stop inting. If one teammate is inting, they're all falling together. That's a problem for both teams. So <laughs> that's why it makes, like, this, these games are uh, really like, interesting, you know? And also, Beryl actually stopping the Elise from being able to move any further was really intelligent. Fall is still extremely squishy. And this decision to not just hook the easy target was really strange. Yeah. You can understand why it happened, but the, if you knew about the stopwatch, you probably wouldn't do that. Yeah, but anyways, this is the LCK we were looking for. Oh, yeah. How can you sleep during this game, you know? You can't. I'm actually... Uh, I'm actually I'm so lose awake. my breath pretty, uh, pretty quickly yeah. when it comes to these team fights. But there's no big leads yet. We're still not sure who's... Uh, who's necessarily benefiting the most. Because like you say, Zed likes a game with lots of kills. Yep. I mean, just have to make game really messy, you know? <laughs> if, if Zed can go 12, 12 kills and 12 deaths, then he's going to be really happy. Yeah, he's psyched you know? about it. One shot, one target, and just die for it. Mm -hmm. That's what you want to do. Yep, go, go in there and trade. Yeah. Sort of how it works. He doesn't... I mean, there is no way to carry on uh, Dom one side, so it's actually really interesting thinking about what a late game fight is going to look like. Mm. Ziggs is huge in the late game, though. Like, he does a lot of consistent damage with 40% uh, CDR that is uh, with these bouncing bombs. As the Cyclone does come down, the decoy comes on in. As Canyon, he just likes coming in from behind that turret 
as uh, he will just be able to take down that horn. Uh, we have to remember as well that... Oh, oh Showmaker. He's just pretty good. But He's making yeah. some shows. Yep. The shadow is going to be enough to get him away. But still. I mean, it's fine nice. for Ixu still, though. You know, like from the preview, uh, preview interview, Ixu literally said that even though I got solo killed twice, I had so much fun. Yeah, he's just having a good time. Yeah. Pretty good mindset. So, I mean, that's kind of really great uh, top laner's mindset. You know, if you have like too much of like your uh, confidence, I guess, then you're like, ah, man, I got solo killed, man. No, How can the I get ego. Solo you can't have Yeah, your I ego. guess it's more ego. Yeah, you're right. You're exactly right. He has no top lane ego. Nope. He's just got, I have a team, I'm going to do my best for my team. And that's yeah. precisely what you need. So, Ixus Orn is just for the upgrades, you know? Not for the lane. It's all about upgrades, the mileage gods item. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Get that molten edge. You're a stats machine for your Aphelios. Yeah. Stamp machine, actually. Mm -hmm. And and it's obvious, right? Yeah. Because they picked on into a trundle. It's not exactly the greatest choice to make. Yeah. I would have preferred to see this <laughs> one, to be perfectly honest. Oh, yeah, that is true. But he's, like, picking it because... Yeah, yeah, because he needs to give the items to his team. Yeah. As that bubble uh, somehow has a longer team range player. if your name is Showmaker. Oof. Ow. Mickey gets chunked. Secret standing on a ward that can't see as that hook is going to barely miss. Mickey at half health is looking to go back. Oh, okay. And Hybrid now going to rotate up towards Shirley. Darmon have taken both of the Drakes, but uh, the soul is going to be Cloud, so not too uh, too worried about that one. Too interested. I think Ghost can simply just take the turret with Zix's ability. Oh, heck right? yeah. Look at, I mean, his auto damage is actually really high. Somehow, like, he's sitting at 153 farm at 15 oh, minutes, has failed. two kills, like... Yeah, the Satra Charge is easily taken it down. He's even decided not to use it. Yeah? Because he's, he wants to keep it as a defensive ability in case there's any pesky little spiders come into his lane. We know that they're nowhere near it, but good to be uh, good to be safe. And Ghost might just uh, take this one as well. Um, this it's whole right. minion wave is dead. And I mean, just randomly... Uh Hybrid also got called up for the header, but I don't think that was necessary for the, especially second header, you know? It's and he also, he missed so much experience. Yeah, I mean, that's not that worth it. I mean, if you can get mid turret with it, then it's great, but they lost bot turret for free, and they lost almost three waves on the bot lane. So it's gonna be, it's gonna make huge difference when it comes to like, in the mid game team fight, you know? Yeah. The one has core item and you don't, maybe. Very strange. Um, we talk about this decision quite a lot. But uh, what it's led to is just over a 2.5k gold lead for Darmon. And they're moving towards Soul Point pretty comfortably. Six seconds. Canyon already in the river. Setting up for this one is uh, Flawless. Spots the troll out. They're going to try and clear out the vision where they can. Beryl's going to join him. Just Canyon making sure that he knows exactly where they all are. Fighting around these areas is really rough, though, because there's a Mega Inferno Bomb, and uh, Bellow's Breath is going to be really good to stop that Sleepy Trouble Bubble, but Nogari's in the bottom lane, and uh, yeah. Soleil One Prince are not going to be able to safely start off this Cloud Drake. Can the same be said for Darmon is going to be the question, as uh, Shirley, she's going to get to work on that mid outer turret. Hornhorn comes in, Canyon. Down to about half, but not going to really get too much there. Decent knock-up, bouncing bomb does a hell of a lot of work. As Beryl gets exhausted, survives for so damn long. Mickey goes in, eventually will trade that one out as Nogari's just flashing onto this Aphelios. He's into the death chamber all too easily from the man in the top lane from Darmon, and they easily wipe the floor with Solo One Prince. That pokes from the ghost was just popping off. Like, he's he's on fire as well. Um, yeah, where's your pog selection sheet? Can we just give that to ghost? We can just okay. give that to ghost now, I think. <laughs> that was just, like, the best play that you could ever It was do really, really beautiful. As well. Like, look at the bombs. Look at the bombs. Look at the moves. I mean, he almost canceled the Orn ulti as well, but it didn't happen. But look at the damage from ghost as well. And yeah. And Showmaker and Naguri was just jumping in. Yeah, and Naguri actually hybrid. just finding that beautiful angle on the hybrid yeah. there. 
Aphelios doesn't matter, I guess, if you have Nuguri on Ukon. I mean, if he's got a grey screen, he's still not going to do anything. It's like every other champion. And uh, unfortunately, uh, Hybrid just wasn't able to offer enough. He's he's only an Aphelios with a Zeal and an IE at this point. You know, he's not the the nuclear warhead that yeah. Aphelios can be. I mean, I guess their team competition is already popping off, you know? Uh, maybe if you have normal AD carries, then you cannot follow those kind of far engage from Ukon or Pantheon, right? But yeah, yeah. you are playing Ziggs, so you can always react to that, always join the fight with the, with the bombs, with the uh, long range, right? So I think this team composition also helps the Guri, and they, they know how to use it right. And, and also, Nogger is really good at playing as like a team player as well. Yep. Like he's happy to like just die a couple of times. He, he died twice, of course, which is exactly what you need to do. Now he's looking to try and kill Mickey, who avoids as much damage as possible, but he's not going to be able to just spin to win. And uh, that's a solo kill. And Flawless, it's ooh, oh, man. oh my God, the damage is just insane. And They're dying what? everywhere. How does? Don't want to have like 16 more players than this team? How how are they ganking seven lanes at once? There's not even seven lanes in the damn summoner's rift. Oh, <laughs> oh man, that was good part. Seven lanes. They were actually like, I don't know. <laughs> Where was everyone? So they are for sure different compared to any other SEK teams because. If you are a normal SEK team, then you really want to take the fight when you have purposes yeah. and when you have higher chance. But they don't care. They just fight. And look, Naguri doesn't Naguri. have flash. Yeah, Hybrid Naguri. is definitely going to get this kill. Naguri doesn't care because he pushed <laughs> the turret, so he got extra gold. Yeah. It doesn't matter that Hybrid got killed because he's going to one-shot him. <laughs> just like Mickey got one-shot uh, yeah. by Naguri here. As, uh, yeah, it's a lot of cyclones. As Beryl turns up, he's like, what did you want, Flawless? And also, in the meantime, the they're meantime. also ganking top lane at exactly the same time as that other play. Like, Yeah, I mean, I just want to hear the communication during these plays, you know? Is yeah. Noguri and uh, Beryl is going to like communicate, and at the same time, <laughs> Canyon and Showmaker was talking about the top side play? Oh, Canyon, possibly in a little bit of trouble here, decides to chomp on Mickey just for a second. <laughs> As uh, the Baron's just been started. There's a control ward in the back of the pit, so everyone knows exactly what's going on here. I'm not an analyst, so I don't necessarily know whether this is a bad idea, but it seems like one. It's Mega it's Inferno like really bomb. Really bad idea. Oh my god. On to four people. Hybrid dies in the blink of an eye. Secret. He's going to go down as well as it's a portal combat here in the river. The Orn is going to fall, and I think Sole One Prince are going to go with him. Flawless. Yeah, you didn't want to come back, come down that water spout, my friend. As now Mickey is behind enemy lines. But uh, yeah. Okay, Showmaker gonna try and do what he can here. But oh. Goodbye. Style points for the Zonyas there as well. Avoids yeah. the Clean. death mark damage. And now we're 20 kills to 10. 22 minutes in. And uh, will we be able to get the game win in two minutes' time to get that average down, you know? Yeah, that was really desperate play by Sarheo Prince. And especially, I mean, you are playing against Zix, so you can never <laughs> finish the Nasher cleanly. Oh my god. And Ghost definitely deserves this POG tonight. And I feel like we talk about, like, we use Nuke and stuff like that and, like, Nukes, bombs. Yeah and stuff like that were like tons of bomb. damage like that's exactly what Ziggs this fed does like oh yeah he's actually just nuking everyone like and actual uh, bombs it, yeah. you know just perfect like it's not it's not fake yeah yes it's real. actual bombs the mega inferno is absolutely that super mega inferno oh he's actually a magician he is. and he's and he's got like his wizard hat on as well he's got oh, yeah. full magician skin he already got the death caps there Yep, it's perfect. <laughs> Death cap not quite completed. We'll have his, uh... He's got the burning face, though. So, Leandris, he's been watching LS's stream. That's probably why he's playing so well. Oh, yeah? I could imagine. Uh, LCK Global Broadcaster stream's probably going to make you a much better player. His barrel's just going to steal away that kill from Nogri. And Nogri's probably going to giggle about it. Showmaker, you can see, still no, concentrating pretty intently. 
And yeah, they're just having fun on the mid lane. I don't think anyone can handle their damage right now. They have so much damage. If you get hit by one skill shot, then you have to go home. Maybe not by yourself. Yeah, no, this game's over. 100%. I'm just wondering whether or not <laughs> yeah. we can get there before like 25 minutes. <laughs> yeah, it's just casually yeah. over. Yeah. There is no way <laughs> yeah. Tar Heel Prince can get back from this game. Because it's yeah, just Ghost. I mean, he can just throw one bomb and just make them go home full members, you know? Yep. Um, that ulti is back available as well. Just in case you guys were wondering. Damwana waiting for a Cyclone, and that's going to be in there pretty soon as well. So Nogri is going to have that one ready for us. Uh, we have another 25 seconds left on the Baron. Looks mm -hmm. like it's just going to be the enemy jungle cleaned out here by Damwon. And, uh, yeah, I just look at Ghost with his Leandris, making sure that Ixu is not going to be a threat either because he's going to do that percent health damage. Mm -hmm. And Everyone also he has Zonia's full... Zed and potential or ulti. Like every safety item is ready and also attack items are ready by the way. So yeah. and all of his bounties ready as well. Sitting at 700, 605. Yeah. Just fantastic. I actually thought that it was only, you know, so far it had only been Dragon X that could really make the Ziggs look like uh, an incredible pickup, but But actually the one record is broke. What's uh, that? Uh, one record is broken. What? Oh no, Showmaker he got knocked up, so he couldn't do it. Oh yeah, that's true. No, but now, now he has a defined KDA. Yeah. So we get to look at his KDA, which is going to be really exciting. It's if he dies twice, that's when things get really bad. He needs to die once so that we can actually not divide by zero. Yeah. So okay. thank you very much, Showmaker, for, for calling that one time. Um, we're going to need you to pull a Chovy and see whether you can get past his what? 130 KDA or something like that? Yeah, it's just insane. Oh, Beach Ball, not going to quite find Hybrid there, but there are no more inhibitors left. Three yeah. inhibs at 25 minutes, by the way. We took like almost 40 minutes when it was <laughs> Genji versus <laughs> KT, yeah. KT. But this is so simple. Like, this is how you play League of Legends. This is this make it an fast. example of a very over game. Yeah, make it fast, you know. Come on, make it fast for your stats. Well, Mickey takes half of his health bar from one uh, casual combo from Nogri. Showmaker bounces forward, finds the bubble onto the Thresh. Good night. That Mega Inferno Bomb was all too easy. And they make it a 4v5. Barrel jumps on in, gets the stun onto Ixu, is over the Nexus. Goes the Wukong. And uh, this is just too much. Nexus will now fall as Mickey is just going to chill on the fountain. And Hybrid's going to throw out Moonlight Vigils into uh, the abyss. And yes, of course, <laughs> Nogger is just He doesn't gonna, care. Just going to go into the fountain just to make sure that uh, the death count is as high as possible. Dumb one officially steamroll. Solo one Prince. There is absolutely no two ways about it. Oh, yeah. I mean, Dumb one had shaky moments, though, at the header. I was thinking that, why do you take the fight against Zed and Elise and Orn all the game when they are their power spike is popping off? But right after that, they just came back with uh, with another skirmishes and that one had better conditions in that fight and yeah, after that moment they were just stomping and running around and getting kills all the time. Just having left a good and right time. and up and down. Yeah. Oh man. And the like what I absolutely love about the draft as well, uh, just to bring it back there, Damwon first pick Pantheon Trundle. Oh yeah. They deny any tanks that Ixu really wants to perform on, even though he still <laughs> picks the Orn. But also the Pantheon is hyper flexible. Like he can go to Showmaker if you want, he can go to Nogger if you want. He can theoretically be a jungler, but there is Trundle there as well. Barrel looks amazing on the champion, so we expect it to be in the support position, but also functions alongside so many different AD yeah. carries or Ziggs or Syndra or anyone. Syndra has banned this game, but uh, is just super flexible. And we here at the LCK just love flexibility in the draft. Oh yeah, definitely. Because we were predicting that, oh, what champion that actually Ghost can play after those bands, you know, Kalista, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ezreal, and Varus is out. And there's no many AD carries that you can play, and he just randomly just casually talks to us. Well, I can play AP then. Yeah, he can just play Ziggs. And actually, he was one of our awesome dude players. Played a lot of the uh, non-traditional oh, uh, yeah. marksmen on the bottom side of the map. Uh, well, back in the day, I was, uh, was beat a few times, I think, that uh, he, was, he was doing that. Uh, but still, certainly showed that he was more than happy to pick up some of the crazy, and he demonstrated 
that, uh, yeah, that wizard on the bottom side of the map. He's, he's short, he's got a high-pitched voice. He's not Viger, he's Ziggs, and he does a hell of a lot of work. Somehow, though, uh, yeah, he was smacking on an orn the whole game. Yeah. Uh, and so Nogri's going to top the damage. At this point, we can say it's better than Soraka AD carry. <laughs> Shout out to Fnatic, I guess. Shout out to Fnatic. <laughs> I mean, I enjoy those games, you know. But anyways, it seems like Zix is a little bit better. I think so too. I think so too. I think, uh, yeah, I think we're going to be seeing a little bit more of uh, of the Ziggs. Not just going to be DRX and Dom when they're going to be playing that because, yeah. Yeah. He uh, did so much work. And the Ophelios, he's not a mobile carry, right? He even had a Thresh, so could reposition, but still Mega Inferno Bomb is real big and just pops him. And Showmaker was joy to watch on the Zoe. Absolutely phenomenal performance from Dharma. We'll see what they can do in game number two after the break. Oh, 